Earlier this year, we built puzzle boxes to take to the 3D Experience World Conference so visitors to the Maker Zone can have some fun trying to figure out how to open them. They relied on people scanning a QR code that brought up a 3D model that contained clues for solving the combination lock. They were such a big hit that we want to take them with us to the Liberty Science Center's Make It Week event next month. We expect a younger crowd at that event, so we came up with a much more tactile way to solve the puzzles. We designed these tiles and this simple message to go with them. What we hope is that attendees will eventually hold the tiles up to the light. This will reveal a symbol hidden inside. We won't tell you any more about how to solve the puzzle, but we did want to share with you how we achieved the results. It all comes down to how we use the 3D printer slicer. We're using the Bamboo Studio software, but other printers should have similar capabilities. We start out making a 3D model in X-Design. We model one shape that represents the overall size of the tile, and inside of that, we model another shape that represents the symbol. What's important here is that we don't merge the two together. We want a multi-body model. We export a step file and open it in Bamboo Studio. By default, the printer settings like wall thickness, layer height, and infill density apply globally, but you can choose to apply different values to each object. You'll notice that the step file was read in as just one object, but we can expose all of the individual pieces by splitting the model into objects or parts. Let's take this airplane as an example. If I split it into objects, all of the pieces will be repositioned down to the print bed, and I can move them around individually. If I split them into parts, the pieces will stay in their original positions, so I can print the airplane as it is. Whichever you choose, you'll now have individual items in the list, and you can set the print values differently for each one. For the tile project, I'll go into an assembly view and hide the tile so you can see the two inside parts. We'll increase the infill percentage on these to 100%. That way, they'll appear differently when held up to the light. I love this technique. Not only is it great for making fun puzzle pieces like this, but it can also be used for adding strength to different parts of your 3D print. Let's say you want the area around a screw hole to have a denser infill. You can either model a separate body for that region in your CAD program, just like we did for the puzzle symbol, or you can use the shapes that come with Bamboo Studio to do the job. When you add a shape, you can mark it as something that adds geometry, removes geometry, or modifies geometry. We'll bring in a cone and set it as a modifier. We'll size it to suit our needs and increase its infill density. Check out how this impacts the print. Pretty cool, huh? With very little effort, we just strengthen our part in this area. This is remarkable stuff. I just love how 3D printing technology continues to evolve. I hope this video showed you a couple tips that you can apply to your next 3D printing project. If you're going to be in New Jersey on June 15th and 16th, swing by the Liberty Science Center during their Make It Week event and say hi. You can try and solve our updated puzzle boxes or just talk about all things making. We hope to see you there. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on our next make.